right. Uh, next, the notion that marijuana destroys brain cells may soon go up in smoke. A study <laughs> at Canada's University of Saskatchewan found that a synthetic chemical, chemical excuse me, derived from marijuana actually makes new cells grow in rat brains. Mr. Capehart, after giving rats high doses of the chemical, researchers found a 40% increase in new brain cell formation. Uh, <laughs> drugs like alcohol and nicotine suppress the growth of new cells, but the study shows marijuana may actually good be good. For brain cell <laughs> growth. <laughs> Maybe they were smoking pot when they did this study, Jonathan. Dylan first, Speedo Santa's now pot. <laughs> Look. Um, I, maybe, maybe, maybe I could, maybe I could use some of it. Yeah. Were, were it not illegal? Well, no, maybe it explains why you're so smart already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving right Something along. Something to think about. Yes. Finally, uh, is the information age making us less informed? An MRI conducted by Dr. Gary Small, a neurobiologist at UCLA, found that more regions of the brain light up when a person does web searches than when a person reads a book. But more is not better, he warns. The brain of the person reading the book is more focused, more efficient, less distracted. Dr. Small wonders if Google is actually making us stupid because we don't examine anything in depth. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Well, with that. Aren't we all ADD now because yeah. we're on Google because we're searching? We're what online. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stay with me. Oh, hang on. We're what, where done. am I? Is this a TV show? <laughs> All right, hold on. All right. Check your BlackBerry. We'll, be, we'll come back and check your BlackBerry commercial. We'll be right back. Thank you, Monica. Uh, we're not done with the morning meeting. In